Hey there friends, it's Carolina Moore, your favorite sewing and quilting YouTuber, and today I'm here to talk to you about some seriously pressing matters. That's right, we're gonna talk about pressing. Ironing, pressing, securing your seams, whatever you wanna call it. There was a tool for that. Some of them you may be more familiar with than others. So we're gonna play with some of these tools and see what they're about and see which ones work in which scenarios. And I'm... So you ready? Let's get started. Okay, I have three different tools here. Obviously you are familiar with the iron. This is my Aliso Mini, great little iron, and I have it on a wool pressing mat, which is just handy for me to have next to my sewing machine. I have, this is a pressing roller, and this one is actually just right out of the package. I have not used this one before. Oh, I'm looking like the, it feels very sturdy. And then this is a pressing stylus pressing tool. Um, that was gifted to me by a friend. I'll be linking to all of these down in the description box. So if you want to catch any of these, go down in the description box for links for all these different products. Okay, so I have just three different sets of fabric that I stitched together into strips. Um, the, the fabric is all starched, which is my preference for working with fabric. I prefer a good starched fabric. If you haven't seen my video on starching fabric, go look at that video after this one. It's a great video on how to have beautifully starched fabrics, which is going to help you with all your cutting and piecing. Okay, so we're going to start with what we all know and love, right? It's the iron. We know exactly how the iron works and how to use it. Now I want to iron or press all of these one towards the dark and one towards the light. So that one's towards the light and this one's towards the dark so that I can compare them. And now some people have you iron over your seam when it's closed and then open it and then press over it. I didn't on this. So if that's your preference, you might have a little bit different result with your iron. I just went quick and dirty. Okay. So I have a pressed piece of fabric ready and good to go. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna push that iron out of the way because otherwise I burn myself. All right, so now I'm going to use this pressing tool. There are different ways that I could use it. I could use it from the back, right? This is getting me some pressing, but not, like it's not standing straight up anymore, but it doesn't feel pressed. From the front, that's giving me a much nicer crease there on the front. And I mean, for not having an iron, that like, I feel like I have no problem sewing across that. I have no, you can see no gaps or or puck like fold overs in my, like that works great. So that super inexpensive little pressing stylus. And now the roller, let's see, the roller I need to use from the front. And I'm new to this tool. Oh, wow, okay. Like I might be a roller convert. Hello. Like this feels as solid as an iron without having to wait for an iron to heat up. Seriously, okay. So there is my rolled. Here is my pressing tool. And here is my pressed with an iron. And there's really not a lot of difference between them. Obviously the big difference is going to be price. Depending on if you get a really fancy wood turned, this will probably be around your lower price point. However, this is gonna be a really comparable second with a roller. And it just, it, I can't explain how, it just, it, the width of the roller I'm not, I'm not feeling like rocking back and forth. It just, it's solid. Boom. 
that's lovely. Um, and then your iron is going to be on the higher end. However, the thing that an iron will do that these tools won't do is if you have wrinkles in your fabric, it's going to press out those wrinkles. So you'll probably still need an iron. This isn't a let's get away with not using an iron kind of project. But if you need a tool to have next to you on the sewing machine, you can probably leave your iron over on the ironing board and use it for like the bigger projects and bigger pressing needs and have a smaller tool right next to you on a cutting mat and use one of these while you're chain piecing. Well, that's all the pressing matters that I have for you today. I wanna to remind you that the comment section is for you. So if you have any questions or comments, drop those in the comments box. I do look for those. And if you have questions, I try to get you an answer. If you are not already subscribed to this channel, make sure you hit subscribe and then that bell, and then you'll be notified whenever I have a new video. Give this video a like to let people know that it's a good video and maybe they should spend some time watching it. And if you really enjoyed this video, hit that share button and let your friends know about the pressing matters that they might not have known about before watching this video. All right, friends, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you right here real soon. Bye friends.